Hello everybody, welcome back to the great state of Montana. This is the Carbine Cowboy coming to you. Well, it's almost that time of year again. Yeah, almost Christmas time. Hard to believe it's almost been a year. I wish every one of my subscribers a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Sorry for the political incorrectness, but to me it's Merry Christmas. So, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. The topic of my video today is I want to do a little more Q&A. I recently had a discussion with a young man, oh, what's it been, a day or two ago, who had commented that a concealed carry firearm is useless unless it's a high cap auto -load. I uh, asked this young man who appeared to be in his early 20s why he felt that uh, unless you were carrying some polymer or steel framed auto loader that was capable of carrying 12, 14, 16 rounds, why that was the only gun that's acceptable for concealed carry or general carry. And his remark was because it carries a lot of ammo. Okay, and I looked at him and I went, and? And he goes, because it carries a lot of ammo. Uh, this is my son, CZ, PO7 duty in a 40 Smith. Polymer frame, steel slide, carries 12 in the mag plus one in the barrel, 13 rounds. For those of you who have seen it, my previous videos, 38 special, one and seven eighths inch barrel, five shot. Been around for 100 years, right? This was the mainstay of most police departments, detectives, FBI for a long, long time. Carries five rounds. You fired five rounds. You got this nifty little thing called a speed loader. You insert it into the cylinder as such. Turn it, and it releases the rounds. Simple. No different than a magazine for an auto loader. The topic of this video, and the reason why I wanted to do it, is I wanted to try to explain to people that, well, let me just put it bluntly. If you think that the only reason why a gun, a handgun especially, is effective as a defensive weapon because it holds 12, 14, 16 rounds, you have a lot to learn. Five and six shot revolvers have been around for, huh, well, ever since the advent of Colonel Colt with his 36 caliber Patterson revolver. So you're going all the way back to, uh, what, eight, late 1830s, 1840s? Yeah, been around a long time. Put a lot of people under the ground with a revolver. The problem that you have is I was trying to explain to this young man that for defense, concealed carry, not everybody can get away with carrying one of these automobiles. They're bulky, they're big, they're heavy, and some people just can't shoot them or some people just don't like them. Five shot pistol as this can fit in my coat pocket, pants pocket. Uh, they're easy to conceal, fit in a woman's purse just fine. You can get them with the exposed hammer or concealed hammer, either way. They're simplistic. They really are. You don't have to worry about fail to feed, fail to fire, fail to eject. Any of those problems. You don't have to worry about spending a lot of your hard-earned money for magazines either. It's self-contained. Anyway, I spoke to this gentleman for probably, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. He was just having no parts of it. Somewhere, sometime along the way, somebody convinced him that unless you were carrying an auto loader with a high cap magazine, you were pretty much defenseless of carrying anything else. Well, that's a misconception. But if that's one's personal belief, that's fine. But, you know, the problem you have is, is Hollywood and the media 
has not done the gun culture any favors at all whatsoever. I tried to explain to this young man it's not about how many rounds that are carried in the magazine, it's about shot placement. You give yourself a false sense of security because if you think because my auto loader carries 12, 14, 16 rounds, I can spray and pray, still have a lot of rounds left in the mag, you shouldn't be carrying a firearm anyway. It's about shot placement. Granted, when I want to use a single shot flintlock pistol as a concealed carry weapon in today's times, not really. Will it do the same thing it was designed to do 300 years ago? Yes, it will. But would I feel undergunned or outclassed if I was carrying a 38 Special 5-shot revolver? No, I would not. And these are some of the misconceptions that people have. These guns, all firearms, are like vehicles. Different strokes for different folks. Like I've said in previous videos, it's kind of like the Ford Chevy debate. You can go on and on and on. It's like a dog chasing its tail. The debate over high cap autos versus revolvers is the same way. Dog chasing its tail, round and around and around and around. Which is better? 40 Smith, 38 Special, 45 Automatic, 9 millimeter, 380. These debates go on and on and on and on. And they actually get quite tiresome, really. This is what I tell people. If you're going to carry a weapon, or concealed carry, carry a weapon that you feel comfortable with, that you know how to use, and that you can shoot accurately. If you're packing one of these bad boys, and you can't shoot yourself in the foot if your life depended on it, guess what you shouldn't be carrying? But if somebody can carry one of these and put five shots inside the kill zone, at a reasonable distance and hit their target every time, that's the person I'm going to be the most afraid of. Why? Because they know how to use this weapon. I'm not saying that this young man is a bad person. I'm not saying that this young man uh, may not learn. But the problem is, is he is taking a small bit of something that he heard somewhere sometime along the way and he has built this unfounded belief that these are useless. These are the only way to go. So, education. Some people never learn. Some people learn the hard way. Some people keep an open mind. Human beings, way of life. But that's what I was wanting to do to this video for was, was to try to bring a little insight and the question that was posed to me by this young man was is why would anybody in today's time unless they're an old fuddy-duddy like me and that was the words he used want to carry an outdated five shot 38 special that's no better than a boat anchor that was his remark so I answered his question just as I'm answering it to you right now. So, from the great state of Montana, this is the Carbine Cowboy, saying I hope to get another video off before Christmas, but if I don't, I want to wish all my subscribers a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and I hope the joys of the season bless you, your family, and friends. I'll see you next time.